What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I figured we could do like a, not a top 10 per se, but it is like a countdown sort of video where we're going to cover the best WWE Elite Action figure from every year from 2010 through 2019. I figured I need to at least get one or two decade videos in. I didn't have time to get them in before the end of 2019, so we are going to do them here at the beginning of 2020, and I'm going to give you the best Elite Action figure from the WWE Elite. Elite Series from Mattel for every single year. Now, there are a couple rules for this thing. For the rules sake, we are only going to cover the main Elite line, so you guys know WWE Elite Series 1 through 74 or 75. That is the only waves we're looking at. We're not looking at exclusives. We're not looking at ringside figures. We're not looking at Walmart exclusives. You know, all the exclusives and two-packs and things of that nature. We're not going to look at any of that. We're going strictly based off of the main Elite line. Maybe we can do exclusives and things of that nature, but I wanted to keep it strictly to the Elite line. That way, uh, you know, I wouldn't have to venture off into other things. This kept it easier to keep up with the year made and all of that stuff. So we are going to rattle off from 2010, 2010, all the way through 2019. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with 2010. The first year that Mattel was making our WWE Elite figures, very successful year here, but the best figure I found, in my personal opinion, I went with the Elite Four John Morrison. You guys know this figure is fantastic. It has the beautiful robe with it. It has great deco. It looks just like John Morrison, comes with sunglasses. Very kind of easy choice. I mean, there are some good runner-ups. But Elite John Morrison, Elite 4 John Morrison to be exact, was really, really strong. So I gave it to Elite 4 John Morrison for the first year, 2010. And the runner-ups include Elite 2 Batista, Elite 6 Batista, and the Elite 6 Crime Time figures, as well as a couple CM Punks in there. Uh, really, really good productive year for the first year. I know some of the articulation in the legs and some of the head skins were a bit off in this year, but I thought it was a really good debut year for Mattel and our WWE Elite figures. Now, going into 2011, guys, I am going with the Elite 7 HBK. Now, this one is his DX figure. Very strong figure. It has the camo pants, has DX. You know, this figure is actually very, very expensive now. If you try to track this figure down, especially mock or, like, full with its accessories, he comes with his cowboy hat, his jersey. He comes with glow sticks. Very, very strong figure. And I have the runner-ups of 2011. I have as Elite 9 MVP and Elite 8 Evan Bourne. Both of those figures are really highly detailed. You get Get tattoos with MVP. Evan Bourne, also a really great figure. And I just love this classic packaging. I guess it's just nostalgia and just the old factor, but I still like it a lot. But let's move on to 2012. moving into 2012 and we're going to keep it in Elite Series 12 for this one. I'm going with the Elite 12 Kane. Very big figure. You know, everybody loved this figure. It was debut Kane. Everybody lost their mind over this figure, and I think that even to this day, people love it. I know we have the Target exclusive ring, uh, not ring, but Target exclusive Hall of Champions Kane that was the re-release, and then, of course, we have the ringside exclusive Imposter Kane with Undertaker as Kane, and that figure is great as well, but the Elite 12 Kane, way that long ago, seven, eight years ago now, and it was a big deal back then, and it's still a big pretty rare figure. I think everybody enjoys this figure if you own it. So Elite 12 Kane comes in at 2012. Some runner-ups for this I picked were Elite 16 CM Punk and Elite 14 Cena. I thought both of these figures were great and it's kind of cool because this is kind of like their, you know, their 2011 matchup in figure form. So I thought that was pretty cool right there. Moving on to 2013, guys, we're going with Kane's brother, and we are going with Elite 18 Undertaker. Now, this figure is great. It's obviously American Badass Undertaker. It's a very, very nice figure, and still to this day, we have never gotten this figure re-released, and it's almost been 60 series ago. And I know that you can say the Elite 55 Undertaker is the big evil Undertaker. You know, it's another American Badass Undertaker, but it ain't got Dead Man Ink on the pants, and it's not the exact same figure. So I would say that Elite 18 Taker was the better figure of 2013. 2013 had a lot of runner-ups here to go with it. We had Elite 20 Jericho, Elite 22 Rock, and Elite 24 Rey Mysterio. All three of these figures were very badass as well to go along with Elite 18 Taker. Another great year for Mattel for 2013. That was my top pick for 2013. 
Moving on to 2014, very good year as well. And we are going with the Elite 30 Batista for the figure of the year. And I think that this figure was great because of the tattoo detail that we got on his back. He has the leg tattoos. And this figure holds up to date. I know it's only 35 series ago or so, or 45 series ago, which is just ridiculous. But this figure was really strong. Again, good head sculpt. It wasn't the greatest attire with the black and white, but I thought the, t the tattoo detail was a big deal, and you got it down the leg as well. Some runner-ups include Elite 27 RVD, only Elite RVD we've ever gotten. We have the Elite 27 Rikishi, which was re-released, but for the time, really good figure. And then we have the Elite 30 Lesnar, really good head sculpt ton of accessories came with the cloth jogging pants really really strong figure there with Lesnar you could do some cool fix-ups with it so that was the list for 2014 Moving on to 2015, guys, we do have some pretty good figures right here. I thought it was a very fun year to collect myself, and I think this is actually the year that I started hardcore collecting the Mattel WWE figures. I didn't start my channel for another two years after this, but uh, this is when I started my channel. It was like the end of 2015 or near the end of 2015. Started collecting these figures really, really hardcore. And so the figure of the year that I went with was Elite 37 Seth Rollins. I really loved this figure for the time. I thought it was excellent. I still love this head scan to date. And I still think, arguably, it's probably one of my favorite head scans that, of Seth Rollins. Like, I just love the pissed off look of it. And so I really enjoyed that. It comes with great accessories. You got the Money in the Bank briefcase. And you got the cinder blocks. It was just, I don't know. This figure is just really nostalgic. Like, looking at it in the packaging is just so nice. And uh, I really enjoy it. So Elite 37 Rollins was the top pick for 2015 and then the runner-ups include elite 39 ziggler elite 37 miz elite 36 ambrose and elite 39 sting another very productive year in my personal opinion i thought this was a pretty good selection here And in 2016, I went with, there's a lot of good figures in this year. I thought this was a really good year as well. But I ultimately went with the Elite 45 Seth Rollins. Now, I think that the Elite 45 Seth Rollins is the best Seth Rollins they've ever made. I think it's his best attire he's ever worn. So, um, I know the head scan is not the best. It's the smiley head sculpt. It was okay for the time. But, you know, since we got that head sculpt so many times after that, I think it kind of brought down the value of the Elite 45 as far as that's concerned. But if you head swap the Elite 45, I mean, it's just beautiful. You put the right vest on it and you know everything going right with it it looks beautiful it's just a great figure you got the wwe championship with it and all that but runner-ups included elite 41 finn balor elite 40 Sami Zayn, elite 40 john cena elite 46 finn balor and elite 47 aj styles now this was a very big year for wwe mattel action figures just look at that lineup rollins balor zane cena balor and styles all those figures were really really strong they all had great accessories and the only reason that Elite 41 Balor and Elite 46 Balor were not the top is because of the ripped up torso. I know, like, whatever, I, I whatever, I, I don't care. If it was a ripped up torso, it would have gotten the, it would have definitely gotten the nod, but Elite 45 Rollins was my pick for 2016. Moving on to 2017, guys, this is our first year. We're starting off the hot year with brand new packaging, I think. Or no, we started off this year with Elite 48. Okay, we ended the year, I think, with new packaging. Anyways, I went with the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt. The Elite 54 Bray Wyatt is that that was the last Elite Bray Wyatt I think they've ever made. And it's just really strong. I use it to this day in the pick fed. I think it's a really good figure. I like the accessories. You get the lantern. It's just a modern take on Bray Wyatt at this point. And it's just a really good figure. I, I really liked it. Uh, some some runner-ups include Elite 53 Kevin Owens, Elite 54 Jey Uso, because the other, you know, Jimmy Uso Elite 54 was god-awful with that terrible head sculpt, so I could not put that in there. But we also have Elite 49 Orton, which is the legend killer Orton, the young Orton. And I also threw in Elite 48 Dean Ambrose, and I guess you could throw in Elite 48 Ziggler. I guess maybe just because it was an updated Ziggler, it had the longer hair. I personally love that figure, but I guess some people didn't like it because of the attire. I wasn't a fan of the attire, but I thought you could throw it in if you personally wanted to. But Elite 54 Bray Wyatt was the figure of the year for 2017, in my opinion. 
we are moving on to 2018. Now, 2018 was an excellent year, and I think uh, this is when we finally started getting Hardy Boy Elise. Was it 2018 or 17? It may have been 17 that we got. At maybe the end of 2017, we finally started getting Hardy Boys, but we didn't get a mainline Elite Hardy Boy until 2018, and so the figure of the year of 2018 was Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. Now, Elite 57 Jeff Hardy was excellent. It, yeah, obviously, it's very rare to this day. I think it goes for like $45 loose. It has, you know, it's shirtless. It's from WrestleMania 33, where him and Matt returned. It was a very big deal, and also, it just has all the epic tattoo detail, all that tattoo detail under the shirt for Jeff Hardy, and it was just a huge deal to have this figure. Still a big deal to to me, I really enjoy this figure, and this figure is very hard to track down. So Elite 57 Jeff Hardy I wanted to put in here, and it's beautiful. It's really, really excellent. I love this figure so much. So the the runner-ups for 2018 include a lot, but uh, the thing is is that at the beginning of the year, we didn't have true effects, but by the end of the year, we had true effects, and so uh, the later series kind of took over this deal. I have the uh, the whole Elite 64, the whole entire Elite Series 64 is the runner-ups for 2018. That series included Rollins, Samoa Joe, both Usos, Kurt Hawkins, John Cena. Really, really strong set. I think people could even argue that it's the best set of all time. So Elite Series 64 was definitely up there. And uh, I, I still thought Elite 57 Jeff Hardy beat it out by just a little bit. So I wanted to include Elite 57 Hardy just because of how great it is. So for 2018, I went with Jeff Hardy. And Finally, for 2019, our last year of the decade going into 2020, the figure of the year, you guys know it for my personal opinion, if you guys saw my top 10, I went with the Elite 74 Finn Balor. Elite 74 Finn Balor is excellent. I explain it in my top 10 figures of the year. If you guys would like to go back and watch that, you personally can, or you can, you know, you can go check that out. But I went with Elite 74 Finn Balor, and the runner-ups include Elite 71 Jeff Hardy, Elite 73 Aleister Black, Elite 72 Roderick Strong, and Elite 72 Buddy Murphy. Now, that is my entire list of every best WWE Elite figure from each year from 2010 through 2019. Very, very fun video to do. I really enjoyed doing this, marking down all the figures and, you know, searching through it. I think it would have been a lot tougher had I not, you know, uh, or if I included exclusives, ringside exclusives, Walmart exclusives, Target exclusives, NXT figures, little side waves, two packs, all of that good jazz. Probably would have been a longer list. I tried to do some, you know, some detailed research, but I couldn't find exact years, and I think that it probably would have taken me a little bit more time. So maybe the next one we do, maybe we can do exclusives and stuff, and then uh, we can move on with that. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite figure is from each year from the decade from 2010 through 2019. I thought it was a very fun video to do. I had a lot of fun researching it and getting all my figure lists together. So maybe you guys can do that yourselves and comment it down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figures. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.